What's up, guys? Deals here. We're back with another video. I know this is different than what you guys are probably used to now, but I just want to talk about a few things real quick. I don't know. Probably gonna be like a ten minute, like an eight minute video at most. Just like I want to talk about what's happening with the NBA. Basically, give my review on the NFL draft. Uh, I'm gonna do the top five picks. So. Joe Burrow, number one pick for the Bengals. That was an A+. Plus. I think he's the second best player in the draft. Super high potential. I think he's going to be um, a great QB. Also, I have a cut on my lip if you're wondering. What Redskins, number two. Chase Young. That was the best pick they could have made. Well, I'm going to grade their entire offseason. Bengals, B+. Plus. Pretty good. Joe Burrow, probably opposite a lot. Redskins, A+. Uh, B plus also. Chase Young's the best player in the draft, and Ron Rivera is gonna help that team, like get over the hump and like get more disciplined. Number three was the Lions. <sighs> they needed a cornerback. They needed a young corner with that team. I think it's gonna work out. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. That team's always fun to watch, in my opinion. So. I don't know. The Lions always start out years, like, really good. And then, like, they go from, like, 5-3-1 to, like, nothing by the end of the year. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, then we got my Giants. Yes, it's a football signed by Victor Cruz. Uh, everyone hates the pick. Everyone's saying they were trying to trade the pick. Overall offseason... A, uh, B. It's fair. I like the offensive tackle. He supposedly has potential. If we basically take away whatever happened with DeAndre Baker, which I will get into in a second, I think this team's very, very, very got a good chance. Joe, we brought an entire new staff. It's great. I think it's going to be a very good team. Oh, there's some light. I'm just walking around, honestly, at this point. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, who had the fifth pick? Shoot. I'm gonna get roasted so hard for this, I know it. Oh, the Dolphins, yeah. There. Uh, off-season grade, probably a B. I think they have the highest potential player, or second highest potential player in the draft behind Chase Young and Tua. Tua is one of the most high-risk, high-reward players in the draft. Injury-prone, but one of the Heisman. I don't know. I think he's going to be a baller with the Dolphins. I hope he doesn't get I hope he doesn't get injured. I like seeing young guys perform. I think they're awesome. Also, they have so much potential. That's my overall view on the draft. Also, I've been hearing a lot of reports for the NBA. So, this is the NBA part. Uh, just kind of thinking, why not uh, bring the season back? The thing about just canceling the season pure, which would make me sad because I have nothing else to do besides make videos. I wanted to make a new video today, if you guys are wondering. The other stuff will come back. I promise. Uh, but do you guys like these videos also real quick before I start talking about it? Uh, they've been saying, like, give a three-week schedule before they come back. See, so NBA put the players back into NBA shape. Play a week, a uh, week or two worth of games, but and then go into the playoffs. Also, this is a f message to all the Knicks fans out there. I know there's like five of us. I'm joking. We have a billion fans. If we don't draft a damn point guard, I'm going to be so pissed. I think we're going to get Cole Anthony. Son of Greg Anthony. He's a baller. Um, I hope the entire... Core developed basically. Uh, I think this team's gonna be very, very, very awesome. Like, I think the Giants, everyone's setting the expectations super low on them. I also, yeah, I'm transitioning back over to football. As you can tell, I have no schedule of what I'm doing. I'm gonna do the NFC East teams, who I think is winning the division, the Cowboys. Okay, it's basically been set in my stone. It's them or the Eagles every year until the Giants become good again. I got a hard hat downstairs, as so you guys see in some videos. They're, those are always fun to wear. 
Uh, I think the Cowboys are going to go 9-7, and 8-8. Eight and eight. They're not cracking double digits. They're going to win the division because the Eagles are only going to have 7 or 8 wins. Plus, they're going to have the tiebreaker on them. Giants are going to have 4 to 5 wins. Redskins are going to have three to four wins. Just my bold, bold predictions. And now my way too early Super Bowl prediction. Who do I want in the Super Bowl? I want to see Chiefs repeat versus... Oh, who's a good NFC team? I really want to see a rematch. I don't like rematches always. I like seeing rematches like a year or two, like two years later. Those are always the best rematches. Uh, we're going to say at this point... Hmm, who's a playoff team? Honestly, I kind of want to see Rodgers in a Super Bowl. Actually, no, Breeze. I want Breeze in the Super Bowl. Oh, so I know a few people are probably going to be like, what are your expectations on the Buccaneers? When I saw the op- Gronk, I was like, excuse me, what? But, like, the team's not going to be great. 9-7. and 9-7, seven. Seven, maybe 10-6 and six if they're lucky. That division is going to be awesome to watch, though. I'm going to do my rankings real quick for who I think is the best. QB, running back, wide receiver, tight end. Who has the best team and who has the best, def- or who has the best defense and who has the best team. Quarterback, best QB in the league is Patrick Mahomes. Lamar has never won anything. Now, I know some people, <coughs> Jayla, are going to be pissed at that. But he ain't won anything. I don't care if he wins 14 games for your team in the regular season. Like, I don't care. I don't care if he wins MVP. I don't care if he wins every single award imaginable. If you don't get playoff wins, I don't think you're the best QB in the league. Uh, Best running back in the league, I have CMC. Right behind him in a close second is Saquon Barkley. Okay? Saquon is... A beast and my favorite player in the league right now. Uh, and CMC is just the best running back in the league. Like, great receiver, great rusher, great teammate. Awesome guy. Okay, why now I'm going to do my three f- best wide receivers in the league. Uh, best is, hmm, who is it? Hmm, I don't know. It's only one of the best players in the league. Julio Jones. I got Julio Jones, DeAndre Hopkins, Tyree Kill. I'm going to do two tight ends. I'm going to do Travis Kelsey and George Kittle coming into the season. I think that they're both going to be beasts. Also, going back to my wide receivers, they're the three most obvious. I think if A.J. Green has a good season, he'll maybe have a chance. I'm going to talk about the Patriots after this, actually. Uh, Then, who has the best defense in the league? Hmm... I think, the, I think the Niners. The Niners are going to go for a repeat because they lost the Forrest Buckner, yes. But they replaced him with someone just as good and younger and cheaper. It's a good move because they know they're going to have to pay Nick Bosa and all their other studs that they have that are young. So they're being smart. They're trading away a huge salary kip, hit like that. They're flip-flopping. So I think they're going to go make another Super Bowl run. Or at least try to. And then the best team in the league is going to be the Chiefs or... Actually, no, I'm going to say the Saints. Saints or Chiefs. Just because the Saints, they can't win in the playoffs anymore. I'm sorry, dude. Sorry, Breeze. Can't win in the playoffs. Sorry, dude. You guys know how I feel about that. I'm going to talk about the Patriots. Everyone says... the end of, Actually, I'm going to talk about the AFC East. Everyone says the NFC East is bad. The AFC East this year, they're going to be won by a team that has 10 wins because they're playing against the other teams that they're going to beat all six times. The other teams in that division are the Patriots, the Dolphins, and the Jets. And now I know I'm about to get some people saying, well, they're not going to go, they're going to go like 11 and 5. They're going to go 10-6, and six, I guess. I don't know. But they're going to win the division because they're going against literal poopy butts for a division rival. 
Maybe the Dolphins win one of the games, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Patriots, I think they're going. I think they're going to win five games. Belichick is such a good coach. He's going to make Jared Sinem look like the next Tom Brady. I feel like it's gonna, it's going to be bad for us all. Oh, the Jets. Once Sam Darnold becomes a decent QB in the league, I think you guys are actually going to go make a playoff push in like five years. But right now. Six wins, I guess. You're better than the Giants at this point. Also, Adam Gaze is literally bringing your tire level down. Like, this is your guys without Gaze. Like, this is the playoffs. This is you guys. This is you guys with Gaze. Literally a damn Nardia. So, yeah, about that. Bills, they're a playoff team. I already said that. And the Dolphins to finish this off. To finish this off. The Dolphins are a beast of a franchise. I'm joking. They're not a beast. But they had a great offseason. A plus to that. They brought in veterans who are beast. This is awesome. I'm probably going to do these like once a month. Also, be on the lookout for my birthday stream. It is in going to be in exactly 11 days. Thank you guys for watching. Please like. My friends' links aren't going to be in the description, but you know what they are. Just go to an old video, click on them, go to the description, smash like on this video, comment down below. First comment will be pinned at the top, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.